Hi, I'm Jake. And I'm Christine. And welcome back after our mini hiatus from the old school trail rounds. Been a little behind the scenes scheduling issues, but we don't dwell. Today we are going to be reviewing the trailer for Friday the 13th Part 3 in 3D. And yes, I'm aware it's not Monday, and by the time this video goes up, it's probably past the holiday. <laughs> but, <laughs> I don't know why I said a holiday, but hey, better late than never, and traditions, you gotta keep them up. <laughs> Let's do this. the trailers for the first two Friday the 13th. What do you think of this one? Looks as good as ever. <laughs> Very fitting for summer. Have summer. Oh, they're fucked. I've said it a few times. I'm not a die-hard Friday the 13th fan, but I do enjoy the series because it's good old slasher fun. And Jason is one of the most iconic slasher killers of all time. And as you may have noticed, he's wearing the hockey mask in this one. Which, as I've said before, he didn't start wearing until the third film. And also, once ah, again... I forgot that. <laughs> yeah, he wore a potato sack in the last oh, one. Yeah. And he was also not even the killer in the very first movie. It was his, uh, mom. Oh. <laughs> There's the hockey mask. This trailer is kind of like the movie in the sense that it's trying to retain what they did with the first two mm -hmm. in style like they brought back the number counting for the victims yeah <laughs> <laughs> there are the numbers but uh at the same time it's trying a new gimmick the 3d just <laughs> And that's pretty much what it was like in the 80s. They'd use a special camera and they'd just throw stuff at the camera, making sure it didn't hit the lens, and then doing this effect with red and blue. Awesome. Little red and blue glasses that you would look at the cereal boxes with. Yeah. Yeah. Except for cereal boxes, it actually worked. <laughs> for these movies, it just gave you a fucking headache because one side always overtook the other eye. Yeah. And... For, it wasn't until this movie got a DVD release in the 2000s that we were finally able to see the movie in its original 3D form. So for like 20 years, people who had VHS could just see people waving stuff at the camera. Characters just going, Hugh! and a bunch of other shit. Like, there's one scene where someone's playing with a yo-yo, and it's like going like this. There's even a scene where popping popcorn is meant to be a 3D effect. It's not like they were using it for elaborate gore scenes. Yeah, just, just like, here, this is what we can do. And now, you can't even keep him on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Getting more real by the minute. Despite Friday the 13th Part 3 being considered one of the, the worst of the movies by some, and one of the worst 3D movies by some, 
This is actually one of my favorite of the sequels. I mean, yes, the 3D is kind of a headache inducer. Yeah. But it's just fun seeing them try all this new stuff. And it leads to some, while very unrealistic, pretty fun kill scenes. <laughs> including one scene where Jason puts his hands on a guy's head and squeezes his head so hard, his eyeball pops right out. So yeah, like the movie, the trailer kind of tries to retain the original movie's vibe, but this new thing just kind of makes it a little uneven. And it wasn't until around part four or five that the series could kind of take a shift in tone where they'd stop trying to copy what the last film did over and over and over. So what do you think? Summer Camp Woman looks like something you'd see? <laughs> I always love my summer camp horrors. <laughs> the Burning. Check it out if you're a slasher fan and if you're interested in getting into the Friday the 13th movies. Some 3D fun. Word of advice, um, bring some uh, ibuprofen. <laughs>